hello family. We're so glad you're with us today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad because God's word tells us to do that. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter how bad it might seem, God tells us to rejoice in the day, even though it might seem like things are falling apart. You know why? Because things change. God never changes, but he changes things, and prayer changes things. So what you're going through today is not going to last forever. When you ask God to help you to get through it and to help you to know how to handle it, how to deal with it, to, to just, God, get me through here. Give me the perseverance. He will. And when he does, you will know with assurance how much he loves you because he will help you to get through no matter what you're facing. You know, isn't it wonderful to realize that you never face anything alone? You never have to face anything alone whether it's a bankruptcy in a business, a broken relationship, kids that have gone astray and you haven't heard from them for a long time or you don't know where they are or they're on drugs or they're drinking or they're just causing great stress in your home. You don't have to face that alone. You're sick, you don't feel well, you don't have to face that alone. He is the ever-present God. Boy, am I glad to hear that. And Jesus Christ gave everything at Calvary for you and me. I trust, I trust that today you will just stop at some point of the day and just say, God, I invite you to come in and intervene in this situation because I don't know what to do. He will help you. He really, really will. I want to tell you that we are celebrating our 20th anniversary this whole year. We've been on the air since 1991. <clears throat> do I look any different? I think... <laughs> Yeah, well, don't we all look a little different after 20 years? But honest to goodness, we're celebrating. And I'm asking you, our family, our at-home family, would you please consider sending a one-time gift of $20, $1 for every year, if you have enjoyed at home, if you've ever gotten a recipe, if you've ever uh, been in, uh, encouraged by something that we've said, if you just really enjoy the program, could you say thank you just this once by sending a $20 gift one time. We'd really appreciate it. The address is on the bottom of the screen. It's the same address which you send for the recipes. So please make it out to At Home or to Cornerstone Television, and I will thank you so much. We pray for all of you that have done that a special prayer. All right? Well, today we're going to make a wonderful fish dinner, and we're getting started right after the hint. Here's the hint. Here's today's At Home Hint. When cooking, roasting, or baking vegetables, be sure to cut all the vegetables the same size pieces. If some are larger, they will not be done when the others are, and your foods will be unappealing as some are well cooked and some are still hard and inedible. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. As I said, we're making a fish dinner today, mm -hmm. and Patty's here. One of the side dishes to the fish dinner is a, this is something I love. My family loves this too. I haven't had this for so long, and I used to make it all the time. It's broccoli, rice, and cheese, and it's a casserole, and you start it out in the, um, in the just, fry pan. You have butter melted, about a half a cup, and all you do is you cook up some onions. This is just some chopped onions. Chopped them, yeah. It's a pretty large onion because that adds a lot of flavor. Oh, yeah. And then what, do you have to let that cook and just brown? For, yeah, just a little bit, and then you throw in your broccoli. And this is a bag of frozen broccoli. Mm -hmm. Let's see what size is this. A one pound ounce, bag, right. yeah. One pound bag of broccoli. And you don't have to let it thaw no, because it, it'll in. cook, because it's going to cook here, but it's also going to cook in the oven, too, because you're going to bake this. Right. And let's see, we have a jar, cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. whiz. And cream of chicken soup. Cream rice of chicken and soup. Uh-huh. How easy. Rice, and this is already cooked? Yes, already cooked rice. Okay, and that's only about, what, two and a half cups or One a cup and a half? half. Oh, a cup and a half, half. Mm -hmm. okay. And, and basically, it. you're adding it all in there, and then you're putting it in there? Yes, and then baking it in the oven. How easy is that? Yeah. And that's a great side dish. Yeah, it okay. is. I'm going because my recipe is for dessert, and I think it's nice to have really nice dessert when you have a fish dinner, something a little different. Um, if you have some pretty dessert glasses like this, this will be the time you want to use them, okay? This is a very simple recipe. Honest, there's no cooking. It's assembling. I have, remember these? Go to Lorna Dunes. 
My mother loved these, and my dad. I like them, too. And they're shortbread. That's why they're so good. Mm -hmm. Remember this little cookie here? Look, there it is. That's the Lorna Dune. <laughs> And um, they've been around for Nabisco for 100 years, I guess, probably even more than that. But anyway, we take it, they come in two sleeves in a box, and we've crumbed up some of them just like this. Don't make them real, real fine. You want some chunks in there. We have a can of lemon pie filling, and we have an eight ounce, this is a Cool Whip, okay? All we're gonna do with this is take some of the Cool Whip, and you just wanna load that in the bottom of your dish like so, okay? And if you have pretty goblets, this is the time to use them. If you don't, in a little glass bowl, that would work well too, because you want everybody to see the pretty lemon in this and the, the crumbs, kind of like a trifle, the big trifle bowl, but these are mini trifles, I guess you could call it. But anyway, you wanna make sure that you cover the bottom. Give this guy a little bit more over here. Mm -hmm. And you turn it so that you get an even layer just like that, okay? Next, let me see, let's do these next. Next I put some of the crumb, because you want, when you get a spoonful of this, you want to taste the crunchiness of that crumb. So I just, on top of what's in there already, you're just gonna sprinkle as much or as little as you like. If you like a lot, put a lot. If you don't, it's all right. We saved a few for the top because we're going to put those on the top for the garnish. All right, next, and you know, you could make lemon pudding if you wanted to. This is just easy. If you're in a hurry, this is it's a great dessert for anybody. Now, we're going to do our lemon topping. Pie filling on top of those. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. And again, you want to spread it around just like that all around your dish. Oh, we coming over there, Patty. What are you adding? Good. Now? I'm putting in the soup and the milk. Okay. Now, how much milk is that? It's a third of a cup. A third of a cup of mm -hmm. milk. Okay. A can of soup. She's a cook, and I can hear it, man. Half of the cheese whiz, because you only need about eight ounces. And that's a larger jar. You can yeah. get the smaller jar, but they just didn't happen to have it the day we bought our groceries. Some, so, right. And I'm sure if I put a little bit too much cheese, that wouldn't. I don't think anybody's gonna mm -mm, complain. No, not that. All you do is mix it all up in here. That's this is it? the simplest little side dish. Yeah. And I know everybody in my household loves this. Oh yeah. This is a big favorite. I like things that are easy to do. Mm -hmm. and you pop them in the oven and you can make them without having to play around with them. Yes. That's what I like. And you know, the, it, the fish that we're gonna be doing will go in beside that and can bake almost the same amount of time, so that works well. Right, and t in today's world, you really need stuff like this because yeah. everybody's so busy all the time. Oh my, absolutely. Now, I have my lemon on. Now I'm putting more Cool Whip on the top. And you don't want it to be flat. You want it to like perk it up, you know, just like some little ripple things like that. That's all you want to do, just like that on the top. Now these need to be refrigerated, so once they're made, you want to pop them in your fridge. And that looks so elegant. It's pretty, huh? It does. It looks very elegant. Absolutely. If you didn't want to do lemon, you could do cherry, you could do chocolate, mm -hmm. coconut cream, oh, yeah. banana. It's whatever you want, okay? Okay, now you're, you've already sprayed that dish? Oh, yes. Okay. Just makes life easier for cleanup, too. Sure. Comes out easier, too. Heck, yeah. Okay. This looks really yummy. Okay. This fits in here perfect. I put it in a two quart. Mm -hmm. Now, how long dish. does that bake? About a half hour. Half hour. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put another little dollop here because I like to let people know exactly what's on the inside when they see the top. Like that. Patty's going to drop that, that in good. her preheated oven. I'm going to do the top of my, my uh, parfaits, and we're going to come back with some more of our fish dinner. We'll be right back in just a minute. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. 
And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Well, we have the dinner um, dessert ready, mm -hmm. and we have the dinner side dish ready and in the oven. It's broccoli and rice and cheese. Now the main course is our fish, and this is cod fillets. This is how they come individually wrapped, or however you get yours. But we're making two layers. We have the first layer. We sprayed our dish, and you've got some butter. Butter going right. Getting ready there. And now, what are you going to add to the butter? Because we're making a filling for this fish casserole. You first put in two tablespoons of minced onion. You need a little higher there, lady. Yeah, probably. So we can get it crank in here. Yeah. Okay. So that's it's going to have onion. It's got crab meat, minced crab meat. It's got fresh parsley. We have garlic powder. We right. have salt and pepper, of course. And then we have Ritz crackers, the buttery cracker. We have mashed them up. There's, it's not a bread crumbs. These are cracker crumbs. So give it a crunch. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have our sole or your cod, which is cod. And then we have some lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, and some butter to put on top. And we're going to bake it. Right. Okay. So. Okay. This is going. Okay. And now I could start adding in. This is a whole can, that crab meat. Uh-huh. And it comes already minced. Okay. So it's one I drained it really good so you yeah, don't have Yeah, you really want to make sure it's drained well. You don't yeah. want it soggy. No. Okay. So that's drained. And then we add our parsley, mm -hmm. which was fresh. And I snipped that real teeny tiny. Yeah, because that's the way you want it. Garlic. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the garlic powder. Once you get the garlic powder, and I'll watch that while you get it. Because okay. we need that in there for flavor. And basically, you just, we're just going to warm up all of these ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, that's a half a teaspoon that we want yeah. in there. There you go. Now we got the whole thing in. Yeah, that's good. All right, now salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. We are. We want to do lots of pepper because we like some flavor there. Oh, yeah. What else? That's about it. That's it. Okay. And then we cook this up for about a minute, and then we add our um, crackers. Okay. So basically, you're just warming that stuff through. It's right. not really frying or anything mm -hmm. like that. This is a great filling. I think this is going to be something your, your family would enjoy. And it's something easy. Oh, I know my family would like it, Yeah. especially my son. Something different, too. And this is easy to serve because you can cut this in portions and get uh, your spatula down under there to lift it up, and you get two layers of fish with this wonderful crab filling in between. Okay, Patty, let's go ahead and add the rest. Yeah, I'm going to add the crumbs. Okay. Let's turn this the wrong Someday I will know Someday. how to Someday she's only worked this. here for five years and she doesn't know how to turn this. I always have trouble. It's all right. Not to worry. And you put all the breadcrumbs in. Okay. Or cracker crumbs. Mm hmm Just remove it from the heat. What about your lemon juice? Well, you don't do that till after you put this. Okay. After you put this on there. This uh, does make a nice filling, though. It does, yeah. And I think that that's, uh, I think it's going to be too dry. Mm-mm. -mm. I think we'll be all right. I think it should be all right. What do you think? So it might need good. some butter because it's here. a little. We have a little butter here. We could throw yeah, but in. we're going to need to dock oh. that on top we have to get some more. Go ahead, put we'll that in more. just so we can get that going. You know, it's yeah. one thing about when you're cooking, you have to make course corrections along the way sometimes right. because, you know, you just need to. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this looks perfect. That should be perfect. Mix it all in there so it's not. There we go. Remember, there's crab meat in there, oh, an onion, oh, all the delicious flavors. And that buttery cracker is going to give it a really buttery, wonderful taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're just going to put that on top of here. Right. You put all of it on top. Okay. Smells wonderful. Oh, yeah. There's nothing in here you don't like. Well, yeah, what, what's <laughs> I mean, not to all like? This huh? good stuff. And spread it all around. Try to keep it on the fish. You don't want it to go into the corners because that's, that will cook too uh, dry. We don't want that. So you keep it on the fish. See, we just use your hands if you have to to get it where it needs to go. You want to make sure everybody has a flavor of that. Down here we need some. Okay. There we go. Okay, now. Now you take your lemon. All right. And you sprinkle it with lemon. Okay, all over. Mm -hmm. Lemon and fish, they're just synonymous. They go oh, yeah. together really well. And this is fresh squeezed lemon juice, too. Okay. And, and then, then your Parmesan cheese. 
Good. Sprinkle that over. This is just a sprinkling. It's not a lot. Mm -mm. You wouldn't put that in with the crackers. It would melt and be, and it would not hold up the flavor like it does putting it on now. All right. And then we top with the rest of the fish. Okay. So while she's doing that maintenance, let me tell you about this wonderful honey mustard coleslaw. <laughs> this is so unusual. So I think it's going to be something you're going to like. We have a whole head of cabbage that we do a fine uh, shred to. And... Um, it's in our bowl here. And then this asks for romaine lettuce shredded. You say lettuce in a coleslaw? Yep. That's what I'm saying, baby. And we mix that up. Look at the color, how beautiful that is. I'm loving it. Also, red radishes sliced. Now, if they're really big, you can cut them in half or you can cut them in strips. We're putting them in because if you don't like it, you can pull them out, right? Smart thinking. <laughs> I don't particularly care for radishes, but Paul loves them, so we have them at our house. And you just want to mix this up. Look at that nice color with that little bit of red. I would say this could be an Italian salad with the red, white, and green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it works. Okay, and then we're going to make our dressing. Now, our dressing is mayonnaise. We have all the specifics with the recipe that you're going to get when you uh, write for the recipe. And we have sour cream. Here's a, a, a green onion that we just chopped. We're just going to add that to our greens there. We have some Dijon mustard. Okay, and I'm going to add a good whopping <coughs> teaspoon, maybe just a little bit more because that gives us some punch. Yeah, I love Dijon mustard. Mm. Mm. And then we got the honey. Honey in the morning, honey in the evening. Honey anytime for me. I love honey. I like it in dressings because it really, it adds a sweetness that doesn't, it's not so sweet as like when you do the sugar right. too much. So we're just going to take these and mix them around. Okay, I'm ready to pop this in the oven. Okay, we have to put foil on there though. We right. need to do that. Now tell me what else you did because there's something else on top of that I fish. put a little butter, a little... Um, breadcrumbs and some paprika, paprika. just Good. to give it some color. Okay, now what temperature? At 375. For how long? It takes about, this doesn't take long at all, 15 to 17 minutes. Okay, now if, you're, if your fish is still frozen, you're going to want to make sure that you go down in there with a fork and that that is nice and hot. The way you test this, a casserole like that, you go in the middle, you take a spoon or a fork, and you bring it up and you taste it. If it's cold on the fork, it's not done. If it's hot, you know it's heated clear through. Okay, here's my dressing that's going on my salad, and then we're just going to top it off with some toasted pecans. Hey, we're going to be right back in just a minute, but here's how you can get the recipes from today's show, plus all that you've seen this whole month. We'll be right back in just a minute. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right, no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. I'm telling you, it is awesome. The smells from this dinner are going to your appetite and your guest's appetite if you make this for a special dinner. They're going to they're going to be devouring before they even sit down at the table. It just smells so good. Nice variety. We have our fish down there, our stuffed fish casserole that has crab and buttery crackers between the layers of our cod fish and then there's a nice browning uh, with a few breadcrumbs and some butter and just a little bit of uh, paprika on top. You want to make sure that that's hot, clear through, that that fish is hot and it's flaky. That's how you know when it's done. Next to it is our broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. That just is mm. awesome. That smell, boy, that brings back such a memory for me. Um, that, that's, that's awesome. And then we have our honey mustard coleslaw that is unusual because we have romaine lettuce in there. We've got radishes. And then after we made our dressing, which I showed you, and we mixed it well, then we added some toasted pecans. Now, that's optional. You don't have to. But that adds a nice little crunch along with those radishes. I think you're going to enjoy that. And then all we did, here it is right here. This is it. This is our lemon parfait. We've been keeping those in the refrigerator. You want to be sure that this is refrigerated and kept cold until you're ready to serve. 
probably I would have the dinner first, and then when it was time to put the coffee on and have a dessert, then you'd bring these out. You wouldn't let them sit on the table while you're doing your meal. That would not be good. But, oh my goodness, they're wonderful and so easy, just assembling. Then with our meal, we just added some biscuits, got some nice flaky biscuits, and a little bit of honey maybe you drop on that biscuit. We've got some nice beverage. What else could you want? I don't know. I'm telling you, this is a meal fit for a king. We put some nice fresh fruit that we can also have for um, dessert or for whatever. You know, this is a meal that's simple and easy to do, and your family is going to enjoy it and your friends and your guests. So I hope you'll give it a try, and be sure to write for those recipes because it's really important that you do that. What do you think, Patty? I think it's amazing. Can't, Can't wait. wait huh? <laughs> yeah. Time to eat, and the crew's like uh, drooling everywhere, so we probably probably is time that we take a, a hike and we go. But, you know, we always love it when you come by. Please remember that God really cares about you, and he's interested in the situation that you're going through, and he can change anything through the power of prayer. So be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. We'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.